What's up guys, Christos here, and oh my god, DraftKings have just released their Q3 earnings, and in this video, I'm going to cover all of it. First up, we're gonna start with all of the earnings. We're gonna go through all of those numbers. I'll then take you through my thoughts on what I think is next for DraftKings in 2021 and going forward. And then finally, I'm going to share whether I actually bought or sold the stock today and exactly how much. So hit that like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let's not waste any time, let's jump straight in. All right, so let's kick things off with the positive things to start off with, of course. And let's go with the main thing that we are all looking for as growth investors, and that is that revenue number. And basically, DraftKings reported a revenue of $213 million in Q3 of 2021, which they said meets their guidance. However, analysts are saying that this was a miss by just a really small amount. I'm really happy with it. It's a 60% year-on-year growth over last year's revenue. And for me, as a growth investor, this is a number that I'm still very happy with. Yes, they didn't beat it, but they are still in line with their guidance, which they said they were going to meet. Moving on to the next big number for me, and that is the large increase of monthly unique players that we have acquired over this quarter. If we just take a look at this chart here that actually compares the three months ending September 30th compared to 2020, as you can see, they have increased their active users by quite some way, 31% to be precise. Um, another really interesting fact around the monthly users as well is that the average revenue that each monthly user is spending has also gone up which was very much expected it has gone from $34 during this time last year all the way up to $47 per user this year so that is all very positive just moving on to some numbers about the NFT marketplace that was launched in August which was a big reason as to why I invested into DraftKings in the first place the 70 drops in Q3 that were kind of dropped of the Tom Brady autograph edition I think it was the first big drop were oversubscribed by 14 times on average so the demand there is very very high which is really good and they made around 20 million dollars in revenue from these drops so these are really good numbers for the first quarter of this NFT marketplace being live I'm really happy with it. Now, let's move on to the bad stuff, which is the stuff that seems to be hitting the headlines at the moment. And the big thing that is taking over the headlines in terms of what I'm seeing is the net loss that DraftKings have reported this quarter. And it was a little bit more than what they were actually expecting. As you can see, DraftKings posted a quarterly loss of $1.35 a share on revenue of 230 million. However, analysts expected DraftKings to report a third quarter loss of 90 eight cents per share so this was a considerable miss and if we just take a look at this balance sheet right here as you can see in 2021 total net loss for DraftKings sat at around 545 million which is up from roughly 395 million the year before just taking a look at how the stock price has reacted to these results as you can see we are being pretty flat today we're down just under a percentage at the moment we're currently two hours into the trade day however we did see quite a large reaction in the pre-market hours i believe it was down up to around 10 percent at one point but we've recovered from there and we're trading pretty flat today as you can see it was only about an hour ago that we were actually up on the stock what is this going to do for the rest of the day <laughs> i can't tell you that obviously but but one more thing just to point out about this stock price today with the drop today and with that roughly four to five percent drop yesterday this stock is now sitting at year-to-date lows and if we take a look at the 52 week we're not actually too far off that low either as well we've lost all of our gains that we had in early um, 2021 around March April time we're now back down to around $44.47 so they were essentially the highlights from the earnings call now I didn't go through all of them if you did want to go more deeper into all of these different numbers then go ahead and check out the presentation that they released today and um, what I will do is leave a link to that presentation in the description down below but just in terms of my thoughts um, around these earnings and this stock going forward in the future, I think it's really, really difficult to sit here and judge about this wider than expected loss. At the end of the day, when you think about it, DraftKings is opening up in more and more states every single year and when you launch in a new state, that is obviously going to require more advertising and promotions to run this launch. 
If we just take a look at the balance sheet once again, as you can see, the marketing spend for 2021 is up roughly 100 million from 2020. And the reason why this is, like I said, they're opening up in new states, they're going to need to advertise in those new states. Are they going to drop their current marketing plan to do this? Of course not. So the marketing and sales spend is obviously going to increase. So for me personally, yes, whilst it's not that great to see the net loss of a business you're invested in, to get deeper and deeper. But realistically, when you look at why this is happening, it's not because the platform is dying and they're not generating revenue. The revenue numbers prove that 60% year on year growth. It's because DraftKings is an expanding business right now. And to expand and grow, you simply just have to spend more money. Another thing that I was actually just reading, which could also be a big factor in this, is with the NFL being their biggest income generator on the betting side of things, results actually haven't gone their way too well in the past couple of months. Now, Basically, from my own experience within the betting game, the more the favorite wins in a game, the less the company actually benefits. But generally speaking, what I think has happened here, and I'm going to have to call a couple of my NFL friends just to confirm this. Basically, what has happened is that a few of the results or quite a few of the results in the NFL over the past quarter hasn't gone the way that the bookies were actually expecting. But just touching on this once again, if we invest into a gambling stock, we have to understand that these numbers are simply just going to fluctuate. Now, just going back to the growth, I know I just mentioned it a second ago, but I really couldn't be more pleased. When I made my video last week talking about why I'm investing into DraftKings, one of my biggest reasons was that I can see this company expanding exponentially as more states open up. And with the 60% year on year growth, I have absolutely zero complaints. Another thing that I found really positive was the updated guidance from the management team for the year of 2022, which is really telling me that they continue to expect some good growth within this company. What they essentially announced was a 2022 revenue guidance of 1.7 billion to 1.9 billion, which equates to a 43% year on year growth. Also, one thing to note on this as well is that this is not factoring in any new state launches during that period. So let's say maybe a couple of states get their gambling bill passed, this number could jump up even more than that. But just to summarize my thoughts around these results, when I invested into this company around a month ago, all of the main reasons why I actually invested has not been doubted one bit during this earnings call. Now, if this company was to come out and reported slower than expected growth figures or revenue figures or, or their users were dropping or something like that, then maybe that would have sparked some cause for concern. But when I signed up for this company or when I decided to invest into this company, I knew that they were making a net loss. I knew that they were having to spend money to grow their platform across different states. But the main thing for me was, are they growing their revenue and are they growing their business? And these earnings call results alongside the updated 2022 revenue guidance shows that they are still well on course to do that. So overall, I'm really happy. So Having said all that, that now brings me to the question, did I buy or did I sell this stock today? And I'm guessing you probably know already that I didn't sell the stock just by the way that I've been speaking in this video. But I did in fact buy some more shares of DraftKings today at the open. I bought 15 shares. I'll throw a screenshot up on the screen right now of the price that I got. It wasn't the cheapest price. I did wait maybe 20, 30 minutes of the market open just because I wanted to see what happened. But the stock in fact did start to go up and I did buy it on the way up. But that was the risk that I took. I didn't manage to get the best value there, but I decided to add some more to my position based on the reasons that I said in this video. I'm really happy with the way things are going. I'm really happy on the growth. And like I said, taking a look at the stock price, it's at its year to date lows. And I think there's still really good value in DraftKings stock right now. All right, so just to wrap all of this up, overall, I think it's a really good earnings for those that are invested into the stock for the reasons that I am. Yes, it's never nice to see a company's net loss increase more than expected, but at the same time, this is a growing company. It needs to market and it needs to expand into new states as they open up. And with the new updated guidance on 2022, with the expectation of another solid year of growth ahead, 
I'm more than content as an investor and I still stand very bullish by my decision to invest last month. However, as always, one thing I must say is that I am absolutely no expert in all of this. For all I know, I could have just made completely no sense of these numbers and I could just be completely wrong, but I guess only time will tell. One thing that I will say is always do your own research. But having said that, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did find it valuable, make sure you do drop it a like down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.